Hello, my amazing people. How are we all doing? I trust we are all staying safe and eating healthy. Who loves uh, okra soup like I do? I like this juicy, succulent, slippery okra soup. It's a fisherman's soup, seafood soup. You stay tuned. You must watch till the end before you can learn how to make your okra soup draw like you put ogbono. So, guys welcome back we are all welcome from the market you guys shopped with me today now we are back from the market and we have set all the ingredients for this special recipe seafood okra soup that slippery succulent delicious okra soup that's what we'll be making today you know guys children are very good in or in eating okra soup they go well with it so they are not even excluded so shortly we'll be running down the ingredients we'll be using for this special seafood okra soup i don't need to talk too much you guys know seafood all seafood they are very very healthy and it, it, it's loaded with a lot, a lot of nutrients so, so the ingredients i'll be using for this recipe is crabs you see I've already washed and set aside for this cooking and next to it is spanla i've already deboned washed and set aside and this is stock fish this is the fish i'll be using for this fisherman seafood okra and that's the shrimps blended crayfish tatasi washed and set aside prepare red bull prepare and okra i've already chopped and this one stay tuned you will see what i'll be doing with that okra this is utazi i've already washed cut and set aside this is the seasoning i will be using for this recipe in there is my manuni red palm oil and there is my red bell pepper and tatasi i'll be transferring the tatasi and the habanero pepper i'll be using into that blender to blend it into puree and this other pepper is not a hot pepper so i'll be using my hand blender to just blend it because i want it rough to color my food at the end of the cooking okay so i added a little water to help my blender in order not to give my blender stress and i'm going to blend for just one minute at this time you can decide to add onion so after blending that pepper i'll be transferring that okra this okra into this blender and i'll be blending it as well because this okra is gonna help this my juicy slippery succulent fisherman soup to be very slippery like as if i added obono but i did not add any obono in this recipe so this i will be doing right now this okra i am blending into puree I'll be using it to make this special, delicious, juicy soup. So I'll be transferring it into a plate and I will set it aside for future use in this special, delicious cooking. So you stay tuned while we continue. I'll be adding manuni red oil. Please, at this time, I noticed that my uh, burner was too hot, but you have to do it on a medium heat. So I finally reduced the heat of my burner. So you add your chopped onion into your red oil and stir. You keep stirring so that it wouldn't get burned. So it's that simple. So you just stir. The onion don't have to get burned. You just want this oh aroma that comes out from fresh onion yes that is just what i wanted so i will allow the onion to get done as i'm frying continuously i will be stir frying continuously so that the onion wouldn't get burned so i'll be transferring my blended tatasi with habanero pepper into this very pot right now and i will keep stir frying okay so that it wouldn't get burned the idea of me using tatasi for this recipe it, there is this aroma and there is this very good delicious taste it gives to your okra soup you try it at home and give me a feedback on how your yours came out i'm I, i'm very sure you will like it so what we'll be adding next into the pot is our washed and set aside crabs remember at this time guys we have not added any single water 
just water from the blended tatasi. So this is the time I am adding water into the spot. So water from the blender I use in blending that um little okra into puree. So I'll be adding water bit by bit. Okay, so I wouldn't over add water because I don't want this delicious recipe to be too watery though it's gonna be juicy and slippery but i don't want so much water so i'll be adding my water bit by bit so this time i just added little water so this recipe i will be adding water subsequently but you have to add water according to the quantity of okra you will be using for your own recipe so i'm adding more water okay so you add because remember the okra i'm using is quite big so i am timing my water so next to it i'll be adding my stock fish this by this time i've already used hot water to soak this stock fish so it's a little bit soft not too strong that is why i'm adding it now you see it's soft so i'm gonna add and mix everything together and close again so that it will steam guys at this time the taste and aroma that comes from this um seafood in the spot is oh my god don't tell anybody you guys know that seafood contains a lot of protein and vitamins so now we'll be adding one teaspoon of our seasoning okay so you add and turn you at this point you can add more water then cover and allow to cook for like five minutes so after five minutes we are back to add our panla and our shrimps and stay remember at this time i have not added fish okay so that it wouldn't break so this is the time i'm gonna be adding the fish okay gently because i wouldn't want it to break i'll be covering and allow to steam for like three to four minutes and we're back i'll be taking out the fish gently because i wouldn't want it to break as gentle as possible that you can so the fish won't break so at this time this fish is done yes that's why i'm bring i'm taking it out from the pot so i can be able to freely stay the pot without getting scared i'm gonna break any fish of course no one wants to serve food without having protein like fish or meat inside so now i'm done taking out all the fishes from the pot i'll be adding this my special recipe pureed ochre that's gonna make it to draw like so slippery and succulent and juicy it looks like a widow right <laughs> yes i will just if you can you can decide to stay or you can decide to just cover it's gonna melt by itself if you still cover without staring so guys can you see how slippery this is looking okay can you imagine there is no ogbono in this soup guys now i'm transferring my okra you see how fresh this okra is looking now you can add crayfish blended crayfish and a little of this pepper guys remember i said this pepper is not hot it's just to color my food so now i'll be adding my uziza leaf i love this leaf so much guys uziza leaf gives your food a very good aroma and taste i'm telling you guys try it, you will see because i'm so generous i have to add all the uziza leaf so right now i'll be transferring the fish i brought out initially back into the pot because at this time the soup is already done so, so guys tell me which baby will resist this juicy succulent slippery okra my baby don't eat swallow my baby don't eat swallow guys come and learn how to cook healthy slippery juicy okra fisherman soup so guys now we are done with this delicious slippery succulent fisherman soup seafood soup yes what would you be enjoying yours with comment down the comment section i'll come and read what you would like to be enjoying yours with i'll be enjoying my with a bar 
okay guys don't you like what you just watched now kindly please subscribe to my channel like and share my video see you in my next video bye